Neurodiversity at Work, Definitions, Benefits, and Tips for Businesses. My deadline for this article is today, and I'm just now sitting down to write it. Not that I haven't spent weeks prepping, I've done research, scoured sources, created an outline, and taken pages and pages of notes. It's a topic I'm passionate about, neurodiversity at work and employee experience. But now that it's time to turn those notes into a cohesive article, I'm staring at a blank page, stuck on the introduction. Conventional wisdom tells me, or rather, screams inside my head, to just start with the meat of the post, and come back to the intro. And believe me, I've tried. But my brain simply won't let me write anything else until I have an introduction. It's been this way since I wrote term papers as a student. I didn't understand why until five years ago, when I was diagnosed with ADHD at the age of 32. With that diagnosis came a domino effect of aha. Moments, bringing clarity to why, for so long, it felt like I was at odds with my own brain. Now, today, my neurodivergence is making my job, which is to write about neurodivergence at work, more challenging. How's that for irony? But it's not just me. An estimated 15-20% to 20 of people, up to one in every five, exhibit some form of neurodivergence, meaning their brain functions differently than what's generally considered typical. Whether they know it or not, every company in the world has people working for them who are divergent, explains Rob Austin, professor of innovation and information technology at the Ivy School of Business at the University of Western Ontario. A neurodiversity at work report elaborates, it's worth noting too that many people who are neurodivergent may not have had a formal diagnosis, this may be the case in particular for older people, women, and those from ethnic minorities. For organizations, this means there is a chance that there are, significantly, more neurodivergent people within the existing employee base than might currently be thought. Neurodiversity and Neurodivergence, Definitions and Distinctions Before we dive into the why and how of neurodiversity at work and the employee experience, let's get clear about what these different terms mean. Neurodiversity is the idea that there are natural variations in how people's brains process and interpret information. It can also refer to the inclusion of people with different types of brain functioning in a group or organization. Neurodivergence slash neurodivergent means having a brain that processes information differently than what's considered socially normal or typical. Commonly used to refer to those affected by a neurological or developmental condition, such as ADHD, autism spectrum disorder, bipolar disorder, dyslexia, dyspraxia, and OCD. Neurotypical refers to someone who is unaffected by neurodivergence, or rather, having a brain that processes information in a way considered socially normal. Embedded content from www.tiktok.com The business case for neurodiversity at work. Diversity and inclusion aren't just about doing good, they're also good for business. And neurodiversity stands out as a particularly powerful force for driving innovation, enhancing team dynamics, and fostering a culture of inclusion. Here are just a few benefits of embracing neurodiversity at work. 1. Tap into unique abilities. Neurodivergent individuals bring a wealth of talents and abilities to the table, often possessing exceptional skills businesses need. From processing information with remarkable efficiency to approaching challenges with creative thinking, these employees can bring fresh perspectives that drive innovation. For example, research indicates that certain neurodivergent conditions, such as dyslexia and autism, come with superpowers in areas like pattern recognition, memory, and mathematics. And people with ADHD are known to remain calm in high-pressure situations and have the ability to hyperfocus on projects they're passionate about. These unique abilities not only contribute to individual success, but also fuel collective achievement within neurodiverse teams. 2. Boost Productivity Plus Performance Studies have shown that neurodiverse teams are up to 30% more productive, underscoring the tangible benefits of embracing diverse cognitive styles and approaches to problem-solving. Moreover, fostering a neurodiverse workforce can positively impact employee-manager relationships and team collaboration. By embracing diverse perspectives and leveraging individual strengths, organizations can dive innovation and efficiency and cultivate an environment where every voice is valued. 3. Enhance Employee Engagement Plus Retention According to a recent article from Psychology Today, C.E.O.'s number one priority right now is employee retention and engagement, with many ranking it as vital. Effective employee engagement is essential for organizational success. 
Yet the article points out that many EX strategies fail to consider one of the most fundamental realities of people at work, the fact that we all think differently. Companies that successfully integrate neurodiversity into their EX initiatives will drive greater employee engagement and retention overall, even with neurotypical employees. One study found that 63% of neurotypical workers are more likely to be attracted and loyal to companies that support their neurodivergent employees. 4. Drive profitability plus growth. Companies that prioritize employee engagement and diversity experience tangible benefits in terms of profitability and growth. Organizations with high employee engagement levels achieve 21% higher profitability, demonstrating the direct correlation between employee satisfaction and financial performance. The business case for neurodiversity is clear, by embracing and celebrating the unique abilities and perspectives of all individuals, organizations can create more inclusive, innovative, and successful workplaces. How to Create a Neuro-Inclusive Work Culture To foster a truly inclusive work environment, business leaders need to implement strategies that support the diverse needs and preferences of all employees, including those who identify as neurodivergent, whether they choose to disclose it or not. Here are some tips for cultivating neurodiversity at work inclusion. 1. Rethink hiring and recruiting practices. Evaluate your hiring process for potential biases and barriers that may hinder neurodivergent candidates from progressing. Ensure job descriptions are free from language that may inadvertently exclude neurodivergent individuals and focus on essential job requirements. Consider alternative interview formats and provide opportunities for candidates to disclose their needs or accommodations. Embrace inclusive imagery and messaging in hiring materials to reflect a commitment to neurodiversity. 1. Prioritize workplace accommodations and support. Recognize that neurodivergent employees may require accommodations to thrive in the workplace and view these as investments in inclusivity rather than expenses. Implement low to no cost accommodations such as noise canceling headphones, designated quiet zones, and flexible working conditions. Offer varied communication styles and channels to cater to diverse preferences and needs. Create support circles or employee resource groups to foster mentorship, support, and resource sharing among neurodivergent employees. Involve neurodivergent individuals in the design of office spaces, processes, and workplace policies to ensure inclusivity from the ground up. Demonstrate leadership support for neurodiversity initiatives, signaling a commitment to inclusion at all levels of the organization. 1. Cultivate a neurodiverse-friendly environment. Implement neurodiversity training programs to raise awareness, remove stigmas, and promote understanding among all employees. Encourage clear, explicit communication and provide context for tasks and assignments to ensure understanding and engagement. Focus on leveraging the unique strengths of neurodivergent team members rather than viewing neurodiversity as a hurdle to overcome. Foster a culture of patience, collaboration, and open communication where asking for help is normalized and valued. Practical tips for effectively managing neurodivergent team members, clarify the rationale behind tasks and assignments to provide context and enhance engagement. Prioritize clear, explicit communication to minimize misunderstandings and promote clarity. Embrace ongoing learning and development opportunities to enhance managerial skills in supporting neurodivergent employees. Celebrate and leverage the unique strengths and perspectives of neurodivergent team members. Embedded content from www.tiktok.com. Neurodiversity, building a more inclusive future at work. By implementing these strategies, organizations can create a culture where neurodivergent employees feel valued, supported, and empowered to thrive. These accommodations and practices benefit all employees by promoting diversity, enhancing communication, and fostering empathy and collaboration. In embracing neurodiversity, businesses not only cultivate a more inclusive workplace, but also unlock the full potential of their workforce for innovation and success.